Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to work this shell stitch. And this is just a simple shell stitch, a large shell stitch. And uh, I happen to be using a very particular type of yarn to create this beautiful lacy effect. But you can use any yarn that you like, a much easier yarn to work with if you prefer, it's entirely up to you. <laughs> But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this yarn, this very lacy yarn, and uh, this yarn here is actually called Kid Silk Yarn. And this particular one is by Drops. I'm not sure if they still um, have this particular colour anymore because I've had this for quite a while. Um, I haven't been paid to promote this yarn and I haven't even been gifted this yarn. This is a yarn that I have purchased at some point in the past. <laughs> and uh, I recently featured it on my Instagram account. So do check out my Insta Instagram account for lots of, lots, I can't speak, lots of extra treats over there at Happy Bay Crochet. And if you tag me at Happy Bay Crochet, I tend to share a lot of your projects as well with my audience because they're really fun to look at. So this is a kid silk yarn by Drops and it's basically a mixture of a kid mohair and silk. So it's a really, really super lacy yarn and if you're familiar with this yarn, you'll realise it's not the easiest of yarns to work with. This is a type of yarn that you kind of need to get right first time because as you can see, all these fibres tend to stick close together. So it can be very difficult to undo your work to frog your projects. But I'm going to show you how to work this stitch, so let's begin. Okay, so take your yarn, whatever yarn you would like to use, and this yarn, this type of yarn, I like to use, because it's so fiddly to work with, I like to use quite a big crochet hook, so my stitches are easier to see and to work into. So I'm opting for a five millimeter crochet hook. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a slip knot, and this pattern works to units of eight plus five. So we're gonna to work to the eight times table first, and I'm just gonna do a couple of eight chains. So we're just gonna chain normally, Chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's our first eight. I'm going to do another eight on top of that. Nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so I've done another lot of eight, and I'm going to stop there just for this basic video example. So once you've got your eight times table, whether that's eight, 16, or however many, once you've got that done, you then need to add on five, an extra five chains. So I'm going to add another five. One, two, three, four and five. So now I've got a stitch count of uh, 21, I think. Okay, so then once you've added your five, you'll need to go, you need to go, I can't even speak. <laughs> you need to add on another four for your foundation chain. So once you've done your eight times table, then your five, then you need to add on four. So one, two, three and four. And those last four chains are going to count as a treble crochet. So this pattern's in US terminology, so in UK terminology it's going to be a double treble. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do our treble crochet. So when you do a treble crochet we need to yarn over our hook twice, or double treble in UK terminology. So you need to wrap your hook around, you need to wrap your yarn around your hook twice. Then we're going to work into our fifth chain from hook. So we don't count the loop on our hook, there is our first chain, there is our second chain. It's quite hard to see, but they should be quite big. So one, two, three, four, and five. Because you've been using a large hook, it keeps our stitches nice and big and much easier to see. So we're then gonna put our hook into that fifth chain, into there, bring the yarn through. And now whenever we do a double crochet or bigger, we just yarn over pull through two loops, yarn over again, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, and that's your first treble crochet done in your fifth chain. We're gonna do another two trebles in the same chain. So I'm gonna wrap the yarn around my hook twice again, and we go back into the same chain, which should be nice and easy to see. Bring the yarn through, and we do another treble. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through two, 
Yarn over, pull through two. I don't think I even went for that properly, but we'll keep going. Yarn over, pull through two. It's a very forgiving yarn. And we're going to do one more treble. So wrap the yarn around your hook twice and go back into the same chain. Bring the yarn through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you've done three trebles in that fifth chain. Then what we want to do, we want to skip three chains. So they should be quite big. So skip one, skip two, skip three. And then in the next chain, we're going to put our hook into there. We're going to do a single crochet. So bring the yarn through and then just yarn over, pull through two to do a single crochet or in UK terminology, a double crochet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to skip three chains again. So we're going to skip one, two, three, and then in that next chain there, we're going to do seven treble crochets. Okay, so we're going to wrap the arm around our hook twice. We're going to go into that chain. I'm going to do seven treble crochets, seven of them. So pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, seven of those. I'm going to show this again in a minute with a different yarn so you can also see the pattern if this is too fiddly. But I wanted to show it with this yarn so you can see it's not too difficult to work with because using a bigger hook means the stitches are much easier to see. It's a good technique for this type of yarn. Pull through two, pull through two. So that's two trebles. Once another five, all in the same chain. Three. Four. And if you do go wrong and you need to undo your yarn, you need to frog it, just do it really slowly and gently. Don't put it too fast, otherwise it will get knotted. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one more. So you want seven treble crochets in that next chain. And then we just repeat the pattern. We're going to skip three chains. So there's a little one there. See these little circles? One, big one there, two, three, skip three. Put your hook into the next chain and do a single crochet. Then skip three again. Try and figure out where they are. I think there's a tiny weeny one there. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Then do seven treble crochets in the next stitch. Okay, another seven trebles. Seven. Okay, so once you've done your seven trebles in there, we're then going to skip three, one, two, three, and in that very last chain, we're going to do a single crochet. Okay, so that's our first row done. Okay, so you've got like half a fan at the end and you've got two proper fans. Then we're going to move on to the next row and this is the row that we're just going to repeat over and over again and it's very similar beginning we're just going to chain four one two three and four we're going to turn our work and we're going to work three trebles into that previous single crochet 
so that's your chain that looks quite big so your single crochet is sat above it just to the right of your treble stitches you see there so we're going to put our hook into there we're going to do three trebles so that's your half a fan at the beginning same as your previous row so three trebles in there one two and three and then what you want to do is you want to find your big fan here and then above the middle treble so you can have one two three and then fourth in that fourth treble so the one sat right in the middle of those seven I'm going to go into the stitch at the top and again because you're using a nice big hook you should be able to see that stitch nice and clearly in there we're going to do our single crochet okay and then we're going to do seven trebles so a proper fan in between your previous fan so look for that single crochet from the previous row let's give you a little stretch it's always going to sit to the right of your last treble here so this stitch here I'm going to put a hook into there and we're going to do seven trebles in there and you just repeat this pattern whoops I pulled through too many then uh, so now that's gone wrong so I'm gonna have to undo this I'm gonna do it really slowly so it doesn't tag so let's find that stitch again do my seven trebles I've done it again no behave <laughs> see I struggle just as much as everybody else. I just leave all more. I leave most of my mistakes in my videos. <laughs> so that's the first one, right? We need other six. Just so you know that I'm not perfect at crocheting either, especially on camera. One, two, three. Six, one more, seven, okay, so you've got your seven trebles in there, your nice big fan, then we want to find the middle treble from this next fan and find the stitch at the top and do a single crochet in there and then yarn over twice and find the single crochet in the middle of this big fan and this half a fan so it's always going to sit to the right of that treble in there and do your seven trebles or double trebles in UK terminology whatever you work with a lot of people ask me why do I use US terminology over UK terminology but I've never done anything um, <laughs> just because I'm something like I'm where I'm born I don't even drink tea so there's that myth broken as well I'm a coffee drinker who uses US terminology in England so what other stereotypes are there <laughs> I think it's because I found US terminology a lot easier to work with it made more sense because of the single crochet then the double then the treble I didn't really understand why in UK terminology they go from a slip stitch straight into a double crochet it just seemed illogical Well, that's just me one two three four five six and one more so yeah I just followed it because it made more sense to me and uh, but I can interchange between the two really quickly so hopefully you can still follow on you lovely UK followers and when you get to the very end once you've done your seven treble crochets you need to find this half a fan at the end you've got your one two three trebles and then you've got these chains at the end and what I like to do because it's quite difficult to work into the top of your third chain I want you to find the gap between the last treble and these chains so you can just count your trebles one two three then just to the left of that before your chains stick your hook in that gap 
bring the arm through and do your single crochet in there. Okay, so that's much easier. And that's the end of that row. And then you just repeat that row again. So we just chain four, one, two, three, and four, and do those three trebles to begin with to make the half a fan at the end. And again, you just find that single crochet, which is just to the right of that treble, sat below your chains. So we do the three trebles in there first. You always do a half a fan at the beginning, but it always alternates each end, so it does even out. Just not always sat at one end. One, two, three. Okay, so we've got your three trebles next to your chains. Then we want to find exactly the same as before. We find the middle fan, uh, the middle part of your fan. Count one, two, three, four. It's the one in the middle. Find the stitch and do a single crochet. And then we find the single crochet in between the fans and do our seven trebles in there. And we just repeat that over and over again to make this pattern. And I'm currently making mine a bit wider, so I did, I can't remember how many units of eight I did. I will write it up um, and put it as, as a written pattern on my website. And I'll also overlay how many I did over this video. See so if you want to follow the exact pattern I'm doing, and I'm turning it into a scarf, so see how it comes along. I'll show you in a later video how it turns out. Five. Six. One more. Seven. Then we want to find the middle of our next fan. One, two, three, four. Never has to be perfect, just do your best. But do a single crochet in there. And then I've got one set one fan set to do, find that single crochet which is always sat to the right of that last treble there. In there do another seven trebles. One, two, and seven and when you get to the very end when you've got that half a fan left just do what you did before find the last treble so you've got one two three and then in between that last treble and those chains put your hook into that gap so that three chain space and just do a single crochet and that's the easiest way to finish that off there we go and there's our second row so that's how you do that large shell stitch and this is the one that I'm working on it's exactly the same but I've just done more units of seven so this is like when we did units of two lots of not seven eight isn't it units of eight and this is where I did more units of eight before I added the five then the four and then this one was a much smaller version so and that fitted in about two large fans and this one has one, two, three, four, five and six. So I must have done six times eight instead of two times eight. Six times eight and then I added the five and then I added the four. So this is just a bit wider and then I'm going to turn this into a scarf. It's worked exactly the same as this pattern. So there we go. But I'm going to show you now in a different yarn in case you found that a little bit difficult to follow along. So let's go away and find a different yarn, shall we? And I just happen to have one here. <laughs> so I've got a nice DK light worsted weight yarn here. It's almost all like an Aran weight yarn. So I shall show you again. So I'm just going to use the same hook size because it's easy. 
and do our slip knot. And again, we're going to work to our units of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then do another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you could add another eight now if you wanted to, and another eight, and another eight, and another eight. But I'm going to stop there. And once I've got my units of eight, I'm going to add five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to add an extra four for my first treble. So one, two, three, and four. So that's one, two, three, four. That's going to count as a treble crochet. Then we need to do yarn over twice, and we're going to find the fifth chain. So don't count the loop on your hook. One, two, three, four. Five, and in number five, we're going to do those three trebles. So that's our first treble. We do another treble in the same chain, or double trebles in UK terminology. Pull through two, pull through two. Then another treble. There we go, so we've got our three trebles all in that fifth chain. Then we skip three chains, one, two, three, and then in that next chain we are going to do a single crochet, or a double crochet in UK terminology. Okay, then skip three again, one, two, and three, then in the next chain we do our seven treble crochets. And pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. That's one. Two. Three. Six and seven. So we've got our seven trebles. So that's our large fan. All in that same chain. And then we skip three. One, two, and three. Single crochet in the next chain. Then skip three. One, two, three. And in that next chain. We do seven trebles, so yarn over twice, go into the chain, bring the yarn through, four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We want seven of those, so that's one, two, then you have to like the treble crochet for this pattern. <laughs> so if you want to, if you're quite new to crocheting, then I would definitely recommend using a yarn like this as opposed to a yarn like this, because that will drive you mad. Um, one, two, three, if you're not used to working with that sort of yarn. One, two, three, four, five, And one more, but if you can get used to using, if you get used to this technique and you want to try the kids silk yarn or yarn like that, then uh, it creates an amazing effect. So it's definitely worth. If you work it slowly and are gentle with it and use a big hook, you can do it. Then we skip three, one, two, three, and then in the last chain, we do in the last chain we do a single crochet. And that's it. So that's the first row. And then we do the exactly the same as we did before with the other yarn. We chain four, two, three, and four. Yarn over twice and turn. And then find that previous single crochet below the chain. So it's always to the right of your treble. So exactly the same. In there, we're going to do three trebles. So 
that's one. Two and three. So you can see what it looks like in this different yarn. Then we find the middle of our fan. It's usually the fourth one along. So one, two, three. Did I not do enough? There it is. One, two, three, four. So it's number four in the stitch above. We do a single crochet. Then yarn over twice and find. In between the fans, find that single crochet and it's just to the right of that treble. And there, do seven treble crochets. One, two, three, some brown yarns creeping in for some reason. And seven. And once you've done your big fan, you find the middle of this fan. Count one, two, three, four trebles in. Stitch above that fourth one, do a single crochet. And then I think we've got another big fan to do. So we find the single crochet in between the fans, just to the right of that treble. And in there we do seven treble crochets. One. Two. Seven. and then when you get to the end you find the gap in between now because this is a different type of yarn it's easier to see the change you might just want to work into the top of the three chain but if you're lazy like me and I can't bother with that just count one two three trebles find the gap in between the last treble and the chains and just put your hook into there and do the single crochet in there instead it'll look just as nice and there we go, that is the main pattern that you follow. So again, we just chain four, turn. We start off with the three trebles in the single crochet below. And that's it, you just repeat that pattern. So I'm just gonna finish this row, show you what it looks like in a different type of yarn. One, two, three, four, do a single crochet, so totally lost, and then a big fan in between in that single crochet. Mm -hmm. the end 
Again, we can just count one, two, three trebles, and in between that last treble and the chains, we do our single crochet, just like we did before. And there we go, that's the second row done. And it really starts to even out, and it's actually really nice with this yarn. So let me know in the comments below whether you prefer the stitch in the kid silk, or whether you prefer it with this yarn here. And I think this yarn is like uh, a wool yarn, superwash wool yarn, I think. Um, it might have a little bit of acrylic in I think it is just 100% superwash wool, I think this. I can't remember who it's by, but um, I think it might be soda or somewhere like that. Um, but there we go, let me know in the comments below which you prefer the stitch in and have fun experimenting and I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys, bye! <laughs>